Building a flexible GUI. First applications menu. Programming. Select QT5 designer. Say no. Create a main window. Now, first thing you want to create possibly is some, some menu items. And you just click in here, type in the menu name, hit enter. Now you can type in the menu action item, hit enter, hit enter, and that's uh, quit. All right. So now we've created a bunch of menu items. We look over here in the action editor, and we can see the menu items. Now if we wanted to have toolbars up here, we can right click add a toolbar. We can grab, drag the menu items up there. There you go. Now, basic layout. Probably want a tab widget, so you drag a tra tab widget over here. Now, if you got a section up here that you want to see all the time, no matter which tab you're on, you're going to grab a uh, frame because it makes it easy to see. And you right click, you're going to lay out vertically. Now, this frame, let's say you want to put uh, a DRO up there. Status labels. We'll go to status labels in the, di in the uh, documents. And we're going to select uh, a group box, drag it in there, select the uh, frame, right click, we'll lay it out in a grid. Now I'm going to go down here and drag some labels in, right click on the group box, lay out in a grid. And we don't want it to be this wide. I'm going to come up here and grab a horizontal spacer. Note where the blue line is where it's going to put it. See, it's squeezed my group box down. And we'll add another label. Another label. Now this one is going to be our X, DRO X, which is that X position including all offsets. So I set the name DRO X, DRO label X. this one and there we go and if we save this to a configuration directory I'm just gonna make a new one I'm going to copy some example, some sample uh, sim files. I'm going to copy that one, that one, that one, that one. Copy. Go to our tutorial. Paste them. Now we got to edit this one to the load this tutorial UI. In the screen, up here to the display. Display is going to be change this to keyboard input. This will put the uh, keyboard style sheet in there, and this is going to be. Good right there. Do a little pause. Now I'm gonna 
save the name, save this INI file to a new name. Okay. Uh, we missed a file. Got to go back here to Flex Examples, XYZ, Sim Hardware. Copy configs, tutorial, paste. Now, now from the uh, Linux CNC menu, we selected uh, our GUI. You can see we got a file open. I can select a file. Now I can edit the file if I want to. It'll open the editor of our choice. Uh, can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, it's just basic here, but yeah. So now it just shows that it works. Be back from.